We're, si- on. we're sitting here in our house. Live from Costa Rica. And before we jump in, there's a, we're, we're out in, so Sean and I are out in Playa Avianas, Costa Rica, Guanacaste region. We're like pretty off the grid. Would you say like it, we're off the grid? Yeah, off the dirt road in the jungle. Yeah. And a, and a bread truck just like pulls down <laughs> the road and <laughs> I get sourdough and a pastry and Sean gets like two loaves of the best gluten-free bread he's ever had. So we're, we're pretty high off carbohydrates right now. Unheard of. Yeah. Yeah. What a gift. Um, today's episode is when the ride is over. Yeah. Yeah. I was doing some breath work this morning. I guess I can give you a little backstory of how, how this kind of came to me. Um, I just started doing breath work this week. It's brand new to me. And I was doing a session this morning and through my last cycle of breathing, um, I just kept visualizing like a surfer hopping off the back of a wave and then kind of everything energetically coming back down, down to sea level, paddling back out to the lineup. I just kept seeing that same image. And then the words just kind of like hit me like when the ride is over. Um, And I think that something that I struggle with and I have struggled with historically in the past, both uh, personally and and, and professionally, is the lulls in between uh, those peaks, in between the waves where you're like, you know, you're getting you're getting clients. you're feeling tremendous personal growth. Um, you feel like you're crushing it. And then the wave ends and you come back down to a lull. And it's just about staying balanced, I think. The concept of staying balanced and, and mentally aware that these lulls and these highs are always going to be there. And that they're natural. And that they're natural. Yeah. We, we have been out. So we've been out here like maybe 11 days now. I think it's probably been 11 days, 10 days since yeah, we've been Yeah, 11 here. days, I think. And not every not every day has been pumping, right? I mean, like the no. swell, sometimes it's jacked up, sometimes it's gone down. And it's the same thing if you're on a mountain. Some days it's dumping snow for a week and then you have bluebird for two weeks. And these are just the natural rhythms of life. I mean, I feel like everything is a cycle in life. If you look at the weather... If you just break down nature in a day, the sun comes up, right? It's cool in the morning. The sun comes up. It gets hot, right? And then it peaks and then it goes back down and then it dips below uh, the earth and then it gets dark and then all the animals go to sleep. We go to sleep and then it just – everything is a cycle. There's a birth cycle. Like there's yeah. a menstrual cycle. You know what I mean? Like – Yeah. So I think what you're saying is when that – when those waves come in of just – euphoria and everything's clicking Mm -hmm. just the awareness of okay i'm gonna go through not suffering but i'm going to go through a period where maybe there's not clients and growth Mm -hmm. totally yeah i think you i think you nailed it i think i think the personal growth space uh you know definitely has a buzzing energy and you know, it's an amazing place, but it can often feel like you should always be getting wins. You should always be um, getting results. And I don't know, the reality of the cycle of life is that you're not you're not on a steady linear trajectory constantly. Yeah. Like everything comes and goes. And so I struggled with when I first got into the space with like, comparing myself with other people's wins and feeling like I was behind, um, whether that was behind in the peak prosper program or just behind professionally, um, in my career as, as, you know, a filmmaker and video editor. Um, a lot of it came from comparison, which is, as we know, like a, you know, it's a poisonous mindset, Um, but it is natural sometimes to do that. I think a lot of people do it, but I think that personal growth space, can seem very intimidating to outsiders because maybe people just feel like they're not going to be um, a high performing member of the group, Mm. you know, but it's, it's not to me, I've realized that it's not about being a high performing member. Uh, It's just about being a part of the community 
and just tapping into that source of energy, um, that alone is is enough to 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 feel great about yeah about life and about being in, in a program like Peak Prosper and about being who you naturally are. Right. Totally. You know, and and I think that the we we talked about this recently, but the personal growth space has just become you know in my mind so I don't even know if it realizes that it's doing it but taking people farther away from where they where they ultimately want to be and um, like life is not all wins and stacking wins and you know money's flying in the door and clients are coming in and we're waking up every day and we're thriving like you know me and you are about both dealing with injuries right now mm -hmm. you know and you injured your back and hip I tweaked my neck for the last couple of months and yeah. we're like, okay, you know, all right, here's a, here's a cycle where the body's repairing. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, what it is. And you know what? Like I'm not, we're not going to bank all of our happiness on when we're healed that, okay, when we're healed now we're going to be happy. It's like, you can actually just be happy now and still flowing through life and just recognize. I think a lot of the suffering from people talk about wanting balance I think the balance actually comes from the awareness to know that, hey, people get out of balance when they don't uh, have the when they lack the awareness as to when these external when these cycles happen in their life, and then like the cycle like hits them by surprise, and totally. then they get thrown out of balance, and then they go, I need I want balance, right? I think the balance stems from awareness to to know that when we're out surfing and we're in motion and we're thriving and we're catching good waves and the swells on for two weeks and the body's clicking, it's like an awareness to say, not, yes, I did it. I'm here. Everything's perfect. It's like this, this time period that I'm in right now is great, mm -hmm. but in the future, the swell will drop. How do we know that nature doesn't lie? All right. Oh, my body feels great right now. Is it possible that I get injured again in the future or I suffer some form of setback? I don't want to say yes, because I don't want to like manifest an injury. But if I'm looking at my life, I've dealt with injuries like as a human being does, right? We have periods where our health is just on fire and there's periods of time where we get sick and we need to rest. And it's only a human being, I think, that can just deny that or think that life is just going to be this high trajectory thing all the time and when we think that we suffer because mm -hmm. nature goes eh, actually <laughs> i'm just going to take you i'm going to keep taking you back through the same cycles over and over and over again until you learn yeah yeah nature does not nature is ruthless <laughs> in a great in a great way yeah um, in a loving way in a loving way yeah and i think i think the point that you brought up about um still being able to enjoy the quote-unquote low periods yeah. you know these low periods, I don't, I don't say low periods as in like, you know, super dark, yeah. uh, anxious, you know, maybe dealing with some depression. Although those periods come too, yeah, uh, for most people. You're not even trying to just to make this clear. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not even trying to say good or bad. No, because that's no, subjective. No, no. It's not. Yeah, it's not even good or bad. It's just. It's just. It is. Yeah. It just. <laughs> it just is. Yeah. Simply put, and I think that I've learned. I've, I'm constantly learning to be present in these uh, energetically lower periods where, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not quote unquote crushing it uh, in my business. Um, maybe things are a, a little bit out of whack personally. I don't feel that balanced, but I'm aware of it and I can still say, okay, like, uh, you know, I can still focus on the things uh, that bring me joy and for me being in Costa Rica that's been surfing mm -hmm. you know like we're both injured right now we're both used to kind of you know with our with our foot on the gas and um, wanting to be in you know optimal physical condition so that we can enjoy the things that we like to do in nature but when you're injured you just have to accept that you're injured and that's like one of the hardest things to do but at the same time, um, it, it's it's a time to just reflect and slow down, and that can still be enjoyed. Yeah. Um, so I think that that the image this morning that I got when I was doing breath work, and you know, I was a surfer coming off the back of the wave, 
coming back down to sea level, paddling back out to the lineup, and being completely present and knowing that there was another wave coming. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that's why that visualization was so peaceful to me. Yeah. And it's a per- it's just a perfect episode for today because I, I think recently on a, on a group call, someone was talking about balance. And I know, you know, I've had calls with guys and they're like, I feel like I need more balance in my life. And I think this conversation is perfect because it's like, just, I, I believe that just going back to the awareness and just seeing things as they are is going to help you create balance. Like for us today, you know, we're both injured. I, I tweaked my neck yesterday after an, we had that amazing session. Wow. Yeah. Yesterday morning. <laughs> it was incredible. Oh, it was so good. And, and I come home and I'm like opening up the coconut for us to drink fresh coconut water and eat coconut meat. And I like <laughs> literally like tweak my neck and I just went, okay. And I laid down and I was laying on an ice pack and you came in and you're like, you're like, dude, are you all right? And I'm like, I just started laughing. Cause I was like, I've been here before. Yeah. I, and I've, I've been here before and I'm going to get through it just like I always have. So it's like, all right, just today's down. I'm on the ice. I'm, br- I'm doing breath work. I'm chilling out. I'm not fighting it. And I feel like we get out of balance when we, we want our present time reality to be something different than what it is. Yes. And it's that inner conflict that takes our emotions to the, to, to an extreme. It takes our thoughts to a negative place. We don't want to accept the reality. Right. And to see things as they are. We always want it to be something different. And I think that's the toxicity of personal, a lot of personal growth, not all personal growth because peak prosperous personal growth. We obviously just have a different perspective on it, but like, Remember, I was reading this morning, Anthony DeMello's mm-hmm. sharing that most, you know, most personal growth is you creating inner conflict with yourself of trying to be someone that you're not. And, you know, people have convinced themselves that they'll be happy once they get a million dollars or that when they find the love of their life or when they, you know, it's just like, where did you get that idea from? You can actually be happy now mm-hmm. and just, and just bring awareness to the things that maybe feel out of alignment to you and just be patient with it. Just learn to... St- Learn to unravel and see these things as they are because we, we can get so disillusioned with thinking that, you know, something outside of us or some, something in the future. I did this for myself, man. Totally same. This moment right now, sitting with one of my best buddies in Costa Rica, business is doing well, surfing every day. Great. Thinking that once I got here, I was going to be happy. And mm-hmm. then once I kind of got there, I was like, oh, I'm still dealing with the same internal problems as before, like the same kind of ways of thinking, etc. Mm-hmm. Actually, just like screw all that. I don't need to like, I'm why delay any of that? Just learn it, learn to, it sounds so simple, but it really is. Yeah, it really is. We overthink it because we're humans. Yeah. Um, Personal growth conditions you in so many ways to like, to like, it's like all about the positive and the wins and like full potential and like financial freedom and like 10 X and man, I see people in that space who are living that life and they're stressed the hell out. Right. They're so stressed. Right. And they won't even allow themselves to drink a beer. It's not for me, dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> but I used to be that guy, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think a lot of us uh, have been in that headspace before. And it's so well put, man. Um, I think that it comes back to acceptance and trust that, like, you know, y- you're... You're doing exactly what you should be doing. Um, if you're, if you feel like you're, like you're growing um, at the pace that is comfortable for you, then there's nothing else that that you should be doing. Yeah. You know. Um, and I going back to the intimidation, uh, you know, kind of headspace that that one can can feel an experience when entering the personal growth space. Like that was me coming in. I mean, I was the ant- antithesis of someone that wanted to join the growth, you know, personal growth space. Yeah. Uh, I was, I kind of just, I was like, you know, I just thought it was all about like bragging about the things that you were doing. Um, you know, kind of the diet that you eat, the, the exercise that you put in every single day um, and the amount of money you make. Like it was just, it just like felt very, um, I don't know. It felt very out of alignment. Yeah. It felt out of alignment. Not that I don't like doing those things. Right. Um, 
I mean, but I've just never felt like like that space was going to be the space that was going to help me progress. Um, so what's actually helped you progress? So oddly enough, what's helped me progress is eventually being open-minded enough and kind of breaking down my uh, ego in a way that was my identity that was like, no, that stuff, that's not me. Um, you know, and that, that came with, that, that came over time through, uh, just various self-awareness exercises and just by simply living, experiencing life, yeah. um, meeting new people, but having a new perspective to be open-minded to say, okay, I'm going to check this out because how can I say that I wouldn't enjoy it or like it if I've never experienced it? Yeah. Um, you know how you know how I knew like because me and you had worked together for a while, but you know how I knew that that something wasn't you because I remember one time you were like me and you had done a call and then you were like oh I fell out of my morning routine or whatever and you were like I actually remember this and you were like oh I just need to be more disciplined and I was like no nah, it's just not you. I just was thinking in my head like no nah, it's just not actually you though because if you need to like cultivate discipline to do something then you don't really want to do it. Like, right. right. We were talking about this the other day, but, you know, people say, oh, I need to create discipline to do this thing. Discipline is, is discipline is for people who are trying to will themselves to do something that they fundamentally don't want to do. Right. Right. And so you're not in your natural operating state. Right. You're not you're not playing your own game. Totally. You're trying to play someone else's game. You see all these people on YouTube. You know, motivational videos. I got to wake up at 4, 5 a.m. Your body is literally saying to you, I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. What are you doing? But you've got mm -hmm. people like David Goggins screaming in your ears about 4 a.m. And right. running 20 miles. I love Goggins. Love that guy. Right. Changed my life. But, right. But you're not David Goggins. <laughs> right. Every human is different. And motivation comes in all forms. Uh, desire uh, and vision comes in many different ways. Yeah. Uh, there's no right way to um, to do anything yeah, in life. Totally. Um, but I, I just think having the having the open mindedness to listen to people that have been doing different things, um, and ultimately that's why I joined uh, Peak Prosper. I think is because I saw people that were. You know, the, the energy, uh, the testimonials, the energy and the testimonials, um, when I was first checking out Peak Prosper, was it was palpable, you know? It was just, it just felt like nothing but the truth. And the self-help space and coaching space can feel a lot like a gimmick, which is why in the beginning I was like, no way, this is like, this is not for me, like I can, I can help myself. Um, but ultimately, I think what brings people the most success, quote unquote, and progress, both personally and professionally, as entrepreneurs, as anyone who's, who's working towards career goals or personal goals, is just being part of a community that shares different perspectives. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Like getting off of a group call and feeling buzzed with energy and just stoked for like your friend in the program that, that just you know, had a major win, um, or that just had a realization, um, that broke down a mental barrier that they were struggling with. Yeah. You know, um, it's those things to me, why, uh, why, why it's an amazing place to be. And, um, but again, every, everyone progresses at, at, um, different timelines and don't beat yourself up because you're not crushing results yeah. every single week. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because uh, I'm not either, you know. Yeah. Some weeks it's up, some weeks it, some weeks it is what it is, and it's just Same. like, just like I was thinking about it the other night. I'm like, yo, if if like the money was completely out of the equation, like I'd just be doing this anyways. Right. Which is like, oh, that's it. And you definitely found that. That's so. it. Yeah. So let it just be a byproduct. But I was thinking of what you said there, and I think about Jack, and you know, he comes into the program, and and obviously six months later, his his business is crushing, and he met, he texted me the other day, and he's like. Yo, I just spent like 30 minutes on the, on the community, um, like on our online community. And he was like, just like giving back to people and supporting people. But that's just true. That's just his nature. And I think that's one of the cool things where like you get guys who do, you know, make growth and then they cycle back and they kind of help the people 
you know, that are new or like, so I, I think that that type of, uh, yeah, like Metcalf's law where users, the, the value of a system grows when the users add value to each user. So yeah, I think that's a cool thing that, that you shared. And, um, to, to just kind of wrap this one up, I mean, if someone's resonating with what you're saying, like what would be something that you could recommend to just someone listening right now? They're saying, I want to just create more balance. I feel like I go through these like highs and lows. Like what, what's, what, what would be, cause your personal growth over the last, you know, you've been through so much of it, dude, coaching all the books, mm-hmm. meditations, Sure. Every hack and technique, ch- changing your diet. Like what's actually been the thing for you that really you could say to someone, you want to create balance, focus on maybe this principle. What would you say? It's a, it's a really hard question. Because um, there's never one thing, but. There's never one thing, but also, I, you know, this is going to sound very, maybe to some people, woo-woo or uh, kind of vague, but like just just the just the line, the phrase of trying to create balance it's it's like you're already swimming upstream. <laughs> I'm so glad like, that you said that. And I mean, it took me a long time to realize. Um, but I think it just comes with awareness. It's just back to the beginning. It's just awareness of of um, you know these waves that are coming in and the lulls in between them. And I think it's just awareness that both of these states of high and low, none is better than the other. Um, and if you're aware of them, that the cycle of life works this way, then you can be happy in both of them. Um, I'm not saying you're going to be happy in both of them all the time. No, I don't think anyone is happy all the time. But just simply the awareness of them um, has brought me a lot more peace um, and inner calm. So I think that, that that's that's where you should look for that balance. It's profound. The last 60 seconds of this, if some if people who are listening to this podcast, rewind that and you should listen to what Sean just said. Really profound. Over and over and over again every day until that really makes sense to you because the, the question is not how do I find balance? It's what what are the, the beliefs, the ways of thinking, the relationship that I have with external events in my life that are causing me to actually be imbalanced, right? Yes. A different person in the same circumstance would feel balanced where you feel imbalanced someone would actually feel balanced that says totally. something totally it says a lot so we'll wrap this one up dude i feel like we could go for like an hour but yeah thanks for yeah. thanks for doing this man it oh, actually was amazing i'm i'm stoked to share this this chat with you cheers brother i know we did yeah yeah 100 percent. thank you man cool man all right we'll wrap this one up guys um Happy days. Hope you enjoyed this conversation. And in the show notes below, I'm going to link our free mini course. Um, So definitely check that out if you're looking to discover your purpose and get paid to do what you love. That's it. That's all it for us here. Yoop, yoop.